Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. If you not subscribe this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily update. Today we are going to discuss about Kaveri engine. So let's begin today's video. India is keen to develop a fifth generation fighter aircraft. Many would say that it is an unrealistic expectation as India took decades to develop first indigenous fighter LCA Tejas, which is a single engine, single seat and multi-role fighter. And even for Tejas, India was not able to build its own engine which is the main powerhouse for any fighter aircraft. The main hurdle in developing a fifth generation fighter is the engine which should be able to deliver the performance needed for an advanced aircraft. India has long been working on Kaveri engine project and it was actually this engine that was supposed to be fitted in LCA Tejas. However, the Kaveri program failed to satisfy the necessary technical requirements and was officially disliked from the Tejas program in September 2008. With the Indian Air Force depleting quad and size, the pressure mounted on the hull to deliver LCA Tejas early. So the Tejas which have been inducted into the service so far have the US manufacturer General Electronic afterburning turbofan engine. The AMCA is being developed by an aerospace industry team which is consist of aeronautical development agency as a design firm and to be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautic Limited. AMCA would likely to be a single seat twin engine steel super maneuverable all with the multi-role fighter aircraft. AMC is totally different since it will completely be made by India. But for it to be become a reality, the development of Kaveri engine is crucial. DRDO will look to develop many of its fifth generation system indigenously. So tentatively it should be ready around 2025. Some say that project may also get delayed up to 2030. The Kaveri is an afterburning turbofan project developed by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment, a lab under the DRDO in Bangalore. The Defense Research and Development Organization decided to wind up to the Kaveri engine program in November 2014 due to its shortcomings, a decision that will be finalized by the DAC. The GTR is now running two separate successor engine programs, the K9 Plus program and the K10 program. France has offered to help India revive the unsuccessful Kaveri engine project an upgraded Kaveri engine with 90 kN thrust compared to the existing 72 kN can be developed with the France cooperation which can eventually be used for Tejas which is currently uses an American engine. In theory, the AMCA will be powered by a domestically manufactured Kaveri K9 or K10 engine currently undergoing development by the gas turbine research establishment. But making a powerful and reliable jet engine from a scratch is hard. Only after the Kaveri engines are ready supposedly in 2019, can be serious work on the airframe really began. Proposed upgraded Kaveri engine will be 90 kN thrust class engine, which will be marginally more powerful than GE General Electronic Supplied F404 GE20 engine, which is currently generating 84 kN thrust. Ideally for Kaveri engine, should be able to deliver 95 kN thrust. Finally, the ADA and HAL will need to produce significantly powerful turbofan engine to meet performance specifications. This is further complicated by the need for a stale-shaped air intake that will shield the reflective turbofan blades from the sewing up on radar, as well as special design nozzles to reduce the heat signature of the engines from infrared sensors. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment, and stay with us.